Let's check out what's going down in the uh, reactor room. I may need to go talk to the overseer again and see if we can't convince him to at least open this place and such. Well, this is quite a familiar area. We were here before and shooting those targets from afar and then the rad roach was coming across and now it's kind of open here. A little bit different. There doesn't seem to be anything of any particular interest in here though. And that's completely inaccessible. Just for the hell of it, let's see if there's anything behind the door. There's a small room behind the door. This is an amazingly huge reactor. Yeah, there's nothing back here. All right, nothing to see there. Let's see what we got going. That's the uh, vault again. We've got the filter room here. I am not going to screw up the filter. But we might as well take a look at the stuff that's going on down here. Who knows, we might find something of interest to take with us anyhow. Like this. That is perfectly within my interest standards. Hmm. I got some grenades here. What is with the bloody handprint? Oh, hello assault rifle. I wonder um, where that gun is that uh, Butch said he was hiding. If that's it or if there is another one completely. Uh, we'll take all that. Oh, nope. I did not want that plunger. Not quite all that. I don't want to go on on a stick either. Is there anything interesting back here? Certainly doesn't seem like it. That's for probably screwing things up down here. Well, I might as well unlock it just to see if there's anything of interest in here. You're kind of pushing me around, bud. And uh, just find out if there's maybe some notes or something. And we have a reasonably. Let's see here. We can test the hydroponic system. We can test the uh, air filtration system. And we can begin water chip service. Let's test the hydroponics. Fully functional. Air system, fully functional. What does this do? I do not want to do that and accidentally screw something up. Let's let's save this first and then we'll try this. Let's see here. We'll run the diagnostic here. All systems functional. Manual service systems purge. System disengaged. Do not run purge. Purity's purge, cleanliness stored. Okay, so I see we can uh, we can destroy the water here. I'm not gonna touch that. I don't want to ruin it down here in this vault. This is literally the last vault that we have been able to access that's actually in working order. Why would I want to destroy it? There's enough destroyed vaults out there. Hey, Stanley. I don't know that I should be talking with you. Eh, tell me about the rebels. It's just a phase they're going through. Every kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. Mm-hmm. What happened down here? With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. That's good. I gotta go. Yes, you do. Oh, shut your face. Yeah, 
These people are jerky. That doesn't look safe. That looks very unsafe. And there's like electrical charges going there, and that's probably made of metal. That can't be good for the system or for anyone who tries to touch it. Alright, well, we will try to uh, have a chat with the Overseer. I may have ruined uh, being able to chat with the Overseer and make things okay, but um, we'll see what happens. Why don't you look where you're going? Why don't you shut your face? <sighs> I'm sure that overseer is uh, somewhere up here. Just need to figure out where the hell he is at currently. There he is. Standing next to his large desk up in the air. Alright, let's go ahead and save that real quick there. And we shall also put on some apparel, which probably won't do much of anything to uh, assist us here, considering that I am at the max, but, you know, why not? What do you want? I'd like to talk to you. So, the rebels are kind of upset because you lied to them about the outside. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed to keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. It would be nice if you would just talk to them and be honest about it, you know? Well, I think I have a solution to the vault's problems, and it's that you should let people go outside. To fix what you started? Go ahead, and humor me. Uh-huh. So, um... <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna kill him. The rebels are right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? You simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Humanity isn't really about pure genetics. It's about never giving up hope, even now. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism. But I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. Yeah, My sure. I won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Cool. I prefer this way much more than shooting him in the face. He may be an ass, but um, I don't really think that he's the one who tried to kill people. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't, I don't know. I still think Officer uh, Wilkins is part of the problem. And now that he's gone, maybe there won't be a problem. Man, that guy moves fast. Something. I dare you. Oh, shut your face. I've already fixed things. You don't belong here anymore. Neither do you. You should go out into the wastes and see what's going on. Man, I sure wish we could blow this joint. Amata, everyone, listen closely. 
After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. I never thought you'd be back. Or just people fearing for their lives. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. Yeah, I just had a little talk with him and explained a few things. All quite civil. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I got a bad feeling about this. What is it? There are still so many things to repair, and a lot of bad feelings to mend. Some people still blame you for what happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. I saved the vault, and now you're kicking me out. No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. Hello. Sorry to see you. Modified go. jumpsuit, huh? Good to see you. Alright. What's this modified jumpsuit about? It's, uh. Got some luck and radiation resistance and repair, but it's not really all that great. That's I cool. Thought you'd be back. Yeah. Hey, Butch, you still want to go? Get out. Hey, don't yell at me. You still want to go, you man? Again. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Hey, you damn right I will. It's a shame you gotta go. Okay, you're you'll not coming okay with me. Okay, there. fine, fine. You can just stay where you are then. Ungrateful bitches. I understand the situation and why I have to leave, but still. Ungrateful bitches. Alright. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting out of here, you asshole. Lucky I don't turn around and kill your ass. That's exactly how I feel, sign. Exactly how I feel. Thanks for voicing my words without me having to do it myself. See you later, Vault. I'm not coming back. Alright. Well, trouble on the home front. Completed. Wow, that was the sound. Okay, back to a scenic overlook that uh, we have seen long ago. 
I feel like I've been kicked out of the same place again, and oh yeah, I have. Whatever. Whatever. So, now, the long-awaited third and final surprise that, um, I'm sure some of you have been wondering what it is. I'm sure some of you have guessed what it is. But, uh, here we go. We are, uh, we're gonna do this. Gonna make this happen. First, of course, I will, uh, drop some stuff off at, uh, Megaton, but, uh, once I have done that, we are going straight for the, uh, final surprisey thingy dingy. And you will all find out exactly what that is very Good soon. Well, at least the people out in these wastes appreciate me. Whether the people in the vault do or not. That's fine with me. I just don't give a shit anymore. Alright, let's see here. Um, you can go there. Just have this random 101 there. Cool. I think I'll, uh, I'll plop that right there. Ish. Damn it. Come on, jumpsuit. I just want you to sit here comfortably and allow me memories of a time when the wasteland wasn't so complicated. When I was stuck inside of a metal vault and... Ew, I don't want to be reminded of that. Fuck that shit. Alright, anyway, um, I do have a whole bunch of stuff to put away still. I forgot to really do that. So let's get that done real quick here. And then we shall continue on. Alright, I think that's good enough there. And we do have some other various things. Just don't chop me legs off or anything because that would be bleh there was there was a robot a little while ago he was named Andy you don't really want to know about him Wadsworth he wasn't you he didn't provide me with purified water it appears you've been wounded sir may I suggest you utilize your infirmary no you, you can't really suggest that I don't appreciate you suggesting that I should be utilizing that, but at least you're not trying to heal me yourself. That's uh, always a good thing. Alright, let's put some junk away. I've got plenty of it. Uh, I did not want to put that in here, but eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Especially at this point in the game when I really don't need that much of anything. Should toss this purified water downstairs as well. Schematics for the uh, rocket launcher are still sitting in my inventory? That's strange. Hmm. I wonder if that's because I have reached the maximum rocket launcher level. It's quite possible. Meaning that, uh... Those schematics are pretty useless to me. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with that. It doesn't weigh anything. I can always sell it. Alright, let's go ahead and plop away some purified water and one of these stealth boys. I said one, not zero. There you go. All good here. <laughs> 